Ah, that looks awesome. I couldn't do that again if my life depended on it. It's a new camera angle. Hey, how's it going? What's up, friends? I hope you're rocking out wherever you're at. Today is sort of a part two from last week's video. I'm doing a couple of short social commercials for Clarif. If you haven't seen last week's video, go check it out. I'll place the link in the description below. Clarif is a really cool skincare company that makes a bunch of organic and natural products. The last video, was a video about how I made a video for Clarif's coffee infused products. Today, I wanna to show you how I filmed and edited a short social commercial for their beard oil and their shaving cream. It's not food or anything. I mean, I guess you could eat it, but I wouldn't. But I know you guys are used to seeing me, you know, film and photograph food, but it's good to get out of your comfort zone, you know, stretch your arms a bit, test some uncharted waters. Man, I forgot to turn my overhead lights off. Now I'm gonna have a color cast. First, I wanna knock out this drip shot. I'm gonna grab my 100 millimeter macro and my black magic. Gonna film this at 120 frames per second. Now I want this shot to be really close up, focused on the label and the color of the bottle. Backlit with the really nice drip falling down in slow motion. Because I'm gonna film this so close up, I have to make sure that this bottle is super clean. Now I'm gonna place my key light directly behind the bottle to illuminate the bottle's shape and really provide those nice thick black lines as the liquid pours down. Then a little fill light to add some detail and highlight to the front of the bottle. Then it's up to getting the perfect drip. I thought that inside of the bottle would be great, but that one drip on the outside of the bottle Acting as a magnifier when it rolls down is just perfect. Then in editing, you know, this clip is pretty good on its own. I'm gonna color correct it, starting off with the LUT that comes with DaVinci. The Fujifilm Rec 709 D60 right here. Just like in the last video, I want more of a film look to these videos. Then I'll personalize it a bit with some further color correction until I have something that looks good. This clip is a little bit too long by itself, so I'm gonna cut it into two clips. The first part of the drip where we can read the logo nice and clear, and the second part where the drip really magnifies that text. For the second clip, however, I'm gonna zoom in and reposition the clip to really highlight that magnification that the drip is giving us. That shot came out so much better than I had originally thought. I'm just gonna go back to the Bob Ross school of thought here and say, happy little accidents. This is kind of your typical product in environment type shot. Not a lot of movement to it to give it that video look. I mean, it's good to have kind of an overall product shot you know, still life, you got your environment, it's a cool composition, but I'd like to spice things up a bit. So I placed my key light on my slider and my rotating head here, and I'm using a reflector and a grid to give me those long shadows. And then there's my fill light over there, which I'm using to brighten up the labels on my product since they're backlit right now. And you know, overall, it just gives my environment a bit more light. All that's left is to set the in and out points on my trusty slider and give it a go. I actually planned out two clips for this one slider movement. The first clip is where my light on my pan head is rotating and hitting the background, which in turn backlights the product and gives us a pretty tasty illumination of the bottle. The second clip is the movement of the long shadows created by the hard light as it moves along the slider. They are the same clip, just different parts of the slider movement. The first clip, I wanna highlight the beard oil. I cut it down to just that part where the light starts to backlight the bottle. Zoomed in a bit and moved it over over to bring attention to that specific bottle. Then sped up the clip. Give this brush a little dip in the shaving cream and clamping it to a light stand with one of those small rig clamps that I showed you in the last video. I have my key light behind this brush here. It's gonna give it some nice shape as well as backlight that liquid or that water that I'm gonna be pouring in just a second. Now my fill light is providing some greater details to the front of the brush and that shaving cream that's gonna be facing the camera as well as lighting up my background. Now we're gonna be pretty zoomed in here once I switch over to slow-mo and so we'll get rid of all this junk but my composition will be about there and then I've left some negative space on the top left hand side for the water to pour on. I 
a quick story about Clarice's travel bag that I could edit together as a fast sequence as my opener to this video. You have an idea for a shot. It's hard to time up the motion in real life. The motion might look ridiculous in real time, but it looks great on camera. Trying to stab a brush into a bottle of shaving cream is a lot harder than you think, but I finally got one. I don't know why I've never bought one of these acrylic serving trays before, but they're perfect for capturing those small liquid type shots in the studio. And it's working out fantastic for this weird reflection shot that I'm going for here. Now I've placed this dark backdrop behind the acrylic tray here to make the reflection and the product really pop off, really stand out. Now I just have to pour some water on it and clean up the mess because for some reason, the only acrylic tray that I could find had handles, liquid just pours out the handles. But if you keep it below the handle, it works perfectly. It's not your typical look at the product. It's a lot more abstract, but I love that more artistic style when it comes to product video and photography. Now, once I've positioned my camera to make that reflection look really good, I'll make a few waves and ripples to disrupt that reflection and get a pretty out of the ordinary product image. Then in editing, I'm first gonna divide it into two clips. One where the reflection is completely still and one right before the ripple comes in. That way I have a good look at the product before anything happens. Then I'm gonna flip it upside down and reverse it so the text, the logo, it reads correctly. Use that LUT and do some basic color correction like before, and then speed ramp it to about 200% for this first clip and another at the tail end when this ripple obscures the product completely. Then comes building some epic sound design. I recorded some bag drops, scratches, and zipper pulls, a few brush dabs and water drops. I downloaded a few whooshes and a natural sounding backing track. And with a few tweaks, this is the final result. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. And I know a lot of you said I should do more videos about doing videos. And I do do a lot of videos outside of my regular photography. I guess I really felt like this wasn't the place for it. But if you guys want to see more video content about making videos, then let me know in the comments down below. Please give it a like, a subscribe, you know, drop some comments, tell me you hate it, tell me you love it, all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Man, I need some more coffee.